It's the Midweek Roundup. Welcome to another Midweek Roundup. Lots of images to show off. And uh, a little bit about Clash of Kings as well. That's just gone on the last weekend. So let's crack straight on. Some fantastic Asterians by Alvaro. Um, really like these because they almost have that sort of icy feel to them. Um, they're not they're not done in sort of a, a, a snow pattern, but that's the sort of vibe I get from them. Um, really nice texturing, really nice sort of dull tones, but but um, I don't mean that in a negative. I mean that in a in a in a positive light. They're uh, really really well painted. I really like that scheme. Something a little different. Moving on, we have. Christian, he's done his Pathfinders and his Enforcers. Um, really like these colours. Um, what I particularly liked about these, you'll, you'll have known by now uh, watching these that I really like seeing well done bases. Um, the dust, the mud on the tyre of the monocycle, I think is just spot on. Like it's done really, really well. We're all, I say we're all chipping away at our slow grows. I'm still very far behind. Um, but no. Daniel Oliver, he is well ahead. So uh, end of last month, end of September, we all should have had our leaders done. I haven't. Um, but now we're moving on to vehicle this month. So October is, is get a vehicle done and painted. We are on, what, the 5th of October. Um, I don't know when he actually finished this, but it's it's already done. So that's uh, incredibly speedy for his slow grow. Um, so all credit to, to Daniel. Um, really like the, the tones. Um, the highlighting the way he's done the, the blue armor like priming it black and then uh, just sort of dry it looks like it's sort of dry brush highlight uh, of the blue and then uh, and then edge highlighting as well it's uh, it's really really interesting technique and uh, looks fantastic Justin's been painting some ogres I really liked the uh, fact that he'd gone for for blue skin tones for something very different um, hopefully Dustin is very keen and uh, excited about the new Ogre releases. Um, I know I certainly am. I keep uh, eyeing up sprues that are on uh, studio desks and thinking, hmm, maybe I could do a little ambush Ogre army because they are one of the finest hard plastic sprues I think we've ever done. Uh, they really are absolutely stunning. has been doing some Empire of Dust, um, fantastic uh, Idol of Shobik and the monolith. I really like the monolith, um, particularly the, uh, the flames. They've got a real sort of um, ethereal look to them, which is exactly what you you you, uh, you want from from those uh, those flames. Um, that sort of magic as opposed to just fire. Um, yeah, they're really really nice. And Idiot Proof Dalek's been knocking it out of the park again. We've featured him plenty of times now. He's an uh, absolutely fantastic painter. Um, he's currently working on his Basileans for Armada. This is a work in progress, as you can see, adding some of the sails at a later date once you've managed to paint all the fiddly bits. Um, it is often easier to, to paint some of the Armada ships in uh, separate pieces for that reason. Um, I guess, suppose it depends on what level of detail you want to go to. If you uh, go into this sort of level of detail, then you, you really have to do them all separately. Um, but if you're just wanting a basic brown deck and fit in, in the uh, bit of a dry brush of silver on the cannons, that sort of thing, you can definitely get away with building it all first. Um, I know personally I'm always a uh, build it all, worry about painting it afterwards sort of guy. Um, you know, you see some of these uh, crazy people that will paint stuff still on the sprue, and uh, I, ju I just can't have the foresight for that personally. I, I, I like to, I mean, I prefer the building rather than the painting anyway as the hobby. So uh, my mind goes, make the model, and then worry about fiddling around of where I can get a paintbrush at a later date. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, if you're only wanting uh, tabletop ready standard, then often you can't see a lot of undersides and things anyway, but you do get people like uh, Idiot Proof Dalek that are just all about the painting and, and making it absolutely stunning by 
go into this sort of level of, of detail. Um, so, yeah, fantastic that. King's been doing some goblins. Really like the um, dusty sort of tones to these, very neutral um, rather than a bright green. Um, it, is, it is sort of, I guess you'd call it an olive green maybe um, for the skin tone. And then very similar dark browns and, and neutral tones for all the armour and everything as well. Um, I think these are, these are cracking. And we have just got back from Clash of Kings this weekend. Uh, it was my first time at Clash of Kings. I've done plenty of events in the past, but I've never done a clash. Um, so I didn't know particularly what to expect. And it was fantastic. Um, it was really good to see so many people out there playing Kings of War. Um, the community is second to none. Um, everyone's so friendly, so welcoming. Um, incredible to see so many people coming from abroad as well. Um, so that was that was just lovely. Um, I've got a few slides that Kyle has taken some photos and a few, few of mine as well um, from while we were there. So we'll just run through these quickly. This is a fantastic uh, action shot here. Some fantastic Rift Forged Orcs painted up here. Um, they, they look really nice on that uh, gaming table, actually, the snowy gaming table with the silvers of the, uh, the shields look uh, spot on. And here's Ronnie with a uh, big crowd of the uh, Spanish contingent that came over. As I say, fantastic to see so many people coming from abroad. Um, we had French, American, Spanish, you name it. Um, really great to see all of them out on the Saturday evening as well. We went for a Turkish. I've never eaten so much in all my life. It was brilliant. So that's it for the midweek roundup this week. Keep an eye on the blogs this week and next week. If you are maybe a fat, you're currently playing Firefight or whatever else you might play, or you've literally just found us now on, on YouTube, um, we are doing a week or two weeks of kings of war getting to to know exactly what it is how to play um and i hope to bring in more and more recruits be fantastic to see this community grow and grow it's already an absolutely thriving community um but with the new red book on its way out there's never been a better time to jump on board so do watch out for those and in the meantime we'll see you again soon <laughs>